Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how can you spot the lagging player when you're playing online on Command & Conquer Riddera to use Revenge. So without any further ado, let's begin the video. Before you play any game online on CNC Net or join any game online, you must understand if you want the smoothest experience before you enter any game, you wanna change the tunnel. Changing the tunnel is the best thing you can ever do. It's gonna solve like 90 to 95% of connection issues between all the players. So the first thing you want to do is changing the tunnel. So how can you know if you need to change the tunnel or not? By looking at every player's ping in the room. If you see a player with green ping, i.e. four dots, it means the connection are very good. If the color is yellow, i.e. three dots, means the connection are good. If the color is orange, i.e. two dots, the connection is weak. If red, i.e. one dot, the connection are very bad. So when these players with low ping join online, they going to lag a lot so if you find one player has low ping before you play online the first thing you want to do is finding where is this player are coming from by asking him or changing to many many different tunnels to find which tunnel make his ping very good and after this looking for the most suitable tunnel for most players in the room and make sure he has a good ping to the majority of the players in the room because you know Red Rock 2 Euros Revenge players has a global audience and the majority of them are from North America, China, Thailand, Europe, Middle East, Russia, etc. For example, if most the players are from Thailand, Japan, tunnel are good for them. And the same thing for the other geographical locations. But finding the right tunnel are tricky. Because if you see the tunnel with low ping number and you think it's going to solve your issue, it cannot be far from the truth. You must try and error many tunnels and this come only from experience. Sometimes you came across weird situations like changing to a suitable tunnel for all the players but one player still has a very low ping. I prefer to kick him in this situation. It is the best option than changing to unknown tunnels which can crash the game easily because playing on unknown tunnels or tunnels with less players it can crush the game most likely so always looking for famous tunnels because the chance of these tunnels fail you are low so after you find the tunnel all if not most of the players has four to three dots when you see the ping near to their names so the game will gonna run very smoothly before you even begin i'm not said two dots cannot be playable but this is the ideal and here is the extra part i'm gonna teach you today we're gonna solve this last five percent in my opinion so what happened is when you're playing online and all the ping are very good for all the players and the game still lag why this is, has so many different reasons for me what i observed due to some players they use wi-fi and some players have a really old pc because these two things i think in my opinion causing the lag after you join the game so how can you find the player are causing the lag when you're playing the game here's the today this video is all about it is some sort of feature it is called debug if you activate it it's gonna show a table has all the players information it's gonna show you which player are lagging during the game before we do anything we must install cnc a program because it cannot work without it so now we need to do some edit on the game file the file called ra2md and when you open properties and on details you're gonna see the name of it ra2md dot i and i you want to open it and change just one setting and that's it but now we cannot do any changes on it and if you want to do any slight changes on it it's going to show you this error message because you need to run the file as an administrator so what are you going to do at the beginning you want to go and search for the notepad program after you see it you want to highlight it and then right click on it and run it as administrator so you see now the notepad program is opened and is blank so what are you going to do now you want to go to file and then open it because we want to open ra2md.ini file by notepad 
So this is the way how can we achieve it. So now click on open. You see this window popped up for you. But we want to get the direct path to find this file. So I hope you know you get the direct path by CNC. So what you want to do, right click on CNC and open the file location. Now you want to copy the path from CNC and then close the window and return back to this window and paste the path you copied from CNC and hit enter on your keyboard. So now the game file is opened inside this window and we want to do another change. So go to the bottom right and change one settings from the drop menu. You want to change the visibility of the files inside the current window. Now only we can see the text files we want to see all the possible files because the file we want is not in a text format so change it from text to all file so after this search for ri2md.i and i file click on it and then open we now open it as administrator so we mean we can edit whatever we want on this notepad so what do you want to do under options we want to copy and paste this command I'm gonna leave it for you in the description so you can copy it exactly. After you finish, go to file and then save. And that's it now. Close the window and now go to CNC. After you go to CNC, click on the skirmish mode inside CNC and then create a game. And don't make the bot against you, you know, gonna attack you. We don't want this now. So make the bot as the same team as you. So after you open a game inside the skirmish mode, on the top right, so you see where is the money? There are two options. It has weird shape, I don't know, like two triangles and a circle in the middle. You want to click on it and after this click on game control and then on keyboard so now on the left of the screen you see this category option under it there are a dropout menu click on the red arrow you're gonna see several menus click on debug after you click on it you're gonna see these two options click on the one called multiplayer debug info after you click on it you see now under the current hotkey there are no assigned key now on your screen so what do you want to do? You want to click on a sign key because you click on a key or something by mistake on this option. So we want to enter the custom key we desire. So after you click assign, now choose the, the key you like to activate it. For me, I'm going to use a four because I don't use a four as much when I'm playing Brother Two Years Revenge online. So let's take F4 key as an example. After you click on the F4 key, click on assign. Now you're going to see under current hotkey, F4 is assigned. So everything is okay. Now we return back to the game. As you can see, if I click on F4, you see this table? This small table are going to show you which player are lagging and which one are not. This is the way to activate it. So what do you want to do now? Quit the game from skirmish mode and now go to CNC and play online game like you normally do. Find a room and make sure everyone has a good ping, i.e. four to three dots ping. That means the game are going to run very good. So after I play the game, this menu is gonna open automatically when you play a new game. So you wanna wait a little bit until the game finds the best mode to reduce latency. This is a part of CNC new updates to reduce the lag inside the lobby. This is a very good feature from CNC. Shout out for them. After CNC find the best latency mode for us, we want to click on F4 and find which player are lagging, if there are a lag. You're gonna see when I play this game, red lags the most. Yellow lags a little, but red lags the most. How can we know red lags the most? Do not look at all these informations because it can be confusing for you. I'm not going to explain it one by one because these informations are very important for pros but not for everyday players. Under all his information, you see there are a small rectangular. They appear in two colors yellow or red when you're gonna see this small yellow line under his name that means this player lags you're gonna see under red this yellow line appears a lot and red lines too that means he lags a lot so now we know which player are lagging and that's it it's very very simple thanks for watching if you want to support your boy please hit the links in the description and support your boy this channel will not gonna be continue without your further support by the way, shout out for both of these guys for helping me out, Razor and Lowing. Thanks for both of them.